As I look around, I must say, maybe it's the culture. Where do we begin? Are we just vultures born into sin? If so, me too. I did. I participated in the felony prostituting the naked image of her body to the local photo gallery in my brain. A collage of stimulations I collected over time I imagined my face next to the cat callers I thought was so lame for barking things like Do you know what I'd do to you if we were ever alone? And yeah, I know you got a boyfriend But stop acting like you don't want this Because I can see it all in your eyes and actions at the office You want me Stop playing with me No, I'm possibly worse See, I'm the silent guy on the bench at the bus stop who never even approached you. I don't wear my heart on my sleeve, just a feminist t-shirt on my chest. The gospel of peace on my feet with the helmet of x-ray vision on my head because I knew your body and my mind way before I knew your name. In fact, I imagined having sex with you in holy matrimony since the day I met you. Can we sit together in church? Just kidding. As in, I never sat at the bus stop. And I don't have a t-shirt like that either, but man, don't many of us make a fad out of being a feminist. See, I respect you, sister, but I know my brain needs deliverance. Sometimes I desire things that are not my own. So what happens when I become a husband, right? And it's my time to consummate my promise, but my mind is warped with a torpedo of nuclear images waiting to explode the receipts of my consumerism right into the woman who just signed up for my love. So maybe it was the pornography? Burned into my brain like a brand to a slave I mean, I've been sold on this brand that sells us both cheap and abused Like chained up cattle and my appetite only craves more Beef grinds to your body As my thoughts slave and master the lust for control and satisfaction What do I know? Besides the desires I'm sold in exchange for my faith like Adam and Eve did Why do we continue to barter in the currency system of transactional love with your body And still expect unconditional guarantees from me emotionally? If you're looking for something else, I'm sorry. I don't have that to offer you. Besides, what's normal for me is what's normal for us. Even dysfunction, so maybe that was what was normal for me the entire time. At 13, I remember being on the run. Being on the run with an army of middle school boys called disgusting. Despite teachers, we learned to gamble our lives in a game to grab as many girls' butts before three o'clock came. Yo, big booty Judy! This is what I recall the days of adolescence. My hormones and desires grew before my mind and body did. So at this point, you probably might think my home situation was pretty messed up. Well, I grew up in a God-fearing home where marriage lasts for 40 plus years faithfully. A grandfather who puts humility and servitude at the dinner table for his wife. A single mother who never drank liquor in front of me. Never brought another man in front of me. No, my dad was not in front of me, but the scriptures were taught to me. And in between all of that time, I did manage to have the headphones on blast. <laughs> Listening to a whole bunch of men and women, most of them I've never met, though I chose to accept their influence on my standard for living in sex. So, maybe it was the music. Maybe it was the porn. Maybe it was the upbringing, the culture, or the lack thereof transparency and discipleship in church. I could go on and on and list every societal construct, to be honest, my heart is just broken and selfish. I was born with it, and I have to take responsibility for it. You see, my heart's radiation image is similar to the condition of the men who coerced the daughters of confidence at that age to become sexual assault victims by 17. As a result, we took sexual assault survivors to homecoming when we were just 17. At 17, hopefully, we learned what no sounds like and what red stop signs look like. And when sex trafficking comes to our neighborhoods as adults, we wouldn't expect the stereotypes of what we see in the movie Taken. Because we know that real manipulation looks more like, I took care of you at your lowest, so would you do this one thing for me? For me. Before I fell in love, I was already a fallen man. Due to the justification of lust, desiring things that God has and has not granted, this man yet I am not content 
and I seek to satisfy myself due to overlooking God in my own miss. She's a victim to me, and I am to me too. And when I say me too, I don't just mean as a victim necessarily. Well, possibly a victim of society, but I understand that excuses are reused. I'm guilty to being conditioned to sin. The culture has done me some good. The culture has done me some bad. For us, by us, I became a product of what society taught me to believe. Reason why we need our minds renewed for Christ, by Christ, this new inheritance to the soul to make us pure. And when I say culture, don't get me wrong, I do not mean the color on my skin, America. I mean sin is our problem. I'm not here to paint myself or anyone a monster. I know who I am, and I know we have tendencies. I'm not here to act like these things can be wiped away from the face of the planet either, but what I realize is we cannot be scavengers hunting on autopilot. Like it or not, the God you desire to change many times identified the sin problem long ago. Our lust to satisfy ourselves led us out of Eden and left us like vultures feeding on other dying people to make us fool on what is missing him. Whether you're vocal or not, your heart needs to be checked because growing up in a pornographic culture has only left effects on your satisfaction. Crashing, crashing relationships to be the guinea pig of our ears and eyes addicted and conditioned by the melting pot fantasy of cum shots and ordering women like pizza cooked into the brain at a Google search. Is it fun or just depressing being assaulted by culture that we're not even full yet on fast food with fake meat? What does being full even look like is a question Resurrection solves for the victim and the guilty. Activism in its finest hour when wounds of the hurt are healed. The hearts of the guilty are graced with transformation, our sin and perversion nailed to the cross, and we move on from lies. Just as healing happens in vulnerability, manhood can happen in community. Father, help us lead like Christ who leads us through deathly situations to resurrection, even in a time full of manipulation and slippery slope opinions, we're all still looking for the truth, aren't we? Maybe it's the culture. Where do we end? If we are just vultures born into sin, then we all need redemption. Me too.